In this video, we will go through the More Actions menu found in the upper right hand corner of the screen. This button, along with the Edit Page and Create Page buttons, are only available for people who have either collaborator rights or owner rights. This will not um, appear for viewers. So we'll go through each of the items in the list. Um, and let's take a look at, let's go to our monthly reports page. Okay, so if the first item in the list is a revision history, this will give us the history of any changes that have been made to our page. So as you can see, there have been four versions of our page. So if we want to do a comparison of what we have now versus what we had when we first created it, we could click on a link to any of the versions and it'll show you, well, there was nothing on this page when we first created it versus today, if we click on the current version, this is what we have at the top of our file cabinet. So this is a nice way to be able to look at different revisions of what was on our page and you also have the ability to revert back to a version. So if you've um, made several changes to your file cabinet, to any of your pages, and you, you mess something up significantly, just know you can always revert back to a previously saved version of that page. Okay. Some other options, um, subscribe to page changes. We did cover this in another video, but if you click on the subscribe to page changes, at the very top it'll tell you you'll be notified when this page is changed. So anytime there is any type of change made to that page, you'll get an email notification almost immediately um, telling you about that change. So um, this is nice if you want to keep track of anything that's changed on a particular page, maybe a file cabinet. Anytime a new file is added, you want to know about it, you may want to subscribe to the page changes. You can also unsubscribe the same way. So if I go to more actions and click unsubscribe, it will say you will no longer be notified. There's also a page settings option and this um, is different for every type of page. So a file cabinet, a web page, a list page, they're all going to have different types of settings um, and that's something that you can check out on each of the different types. You can print the page. Um, which is pretty self-explanatory. You can move the page and, and moving a page I think is a, is a very powerful tool that um, will be used more often than not. And this is if you created a page somewhere within the hierarchy and you decide either you put it in the wrong spot or you want it moved somewhere else, you can use this feature. So let's do that. Let's go to our monthly reports. And let's say when we created it, we put it as a sub page, but we realized we really don't want it as a sub page. We want it as a topmost page, just like the others. So we would go to More Actions, Move Page, and then you can choose where in your hierarchy you want that page to be moved to. So we want it to be at the topmost page. So we'll select the name of our site. We click on Move. And it says here, monthly reports has been moved under Europe IT management team, meaning now, as you can see, it's a topmost page. So that move page feature is going to come in handy a lot. Um, there's also the ability to delete a page. So let's say um, we want to delete our monthly reports. We're no longer using it. So we will delete the page. And it's going to ask us, are you sure you really want to delete this page? And it's saying, deleting this page will also delete this associated file with it. We're going to say, yep, we want to delete it. So now it's gone. And the next day, someone comes to you and says, hey, where's that monthly reports page that we had? And you say, oh, I deleted it. But knowing that you can retrieve it. So the nice thing about deleting content within a Google site is that it is always retrievable. So to retrieve it, we use this, this process. We go to More Actions, we click on Manage Site, and there is a section called Deleted Items. So if we click on that, anything that's been deleted from the site, whether it's a, a file or a page, is going to be in this section for 30 days. So you truly have 30 days to retrieve information, which is a pretty significant amount of time. So I see my monthly reports page and I want to retrieve it. So I place a check mark next to it and I click Recover. At the top it's going to say Items Recovered. So if we click on Return to Site, now we'll see our monthly reports is there. And it also has the files in it. So we didn't even have to individually retrieve each file. Anything within that site is also retrieved. So deleted items can always be retrieved. 
Um, some other options in this menu, one is subscribe to page change, to site changes, excuse me. So this is similar to the subscribe to page changes. The difference is that you are now sub gonna subscribe to any type of change that's made in the site. So if I click on this, it's gonna tell me you will be notified when changes are made to this site. So this is, there's a word of caution that goes with this. If you have a very active site, and things are constantly being changed or added to or removed, you're gonna get quite a few emails because you will get an email every time something changes. So this is nice if you maybe only have one or two people that are supposed to be uh, making changes to a site and you wanna know about those changes, maybe then you'll wanna subscribe. But if you have a lot of people that are changing content a lot of the time, you may not wanna subscribe to the entire site changes. So you may unsubscribe, which is the same thing, okay? Um, then there's the Manage Site section, which we've gone into. Um, there's the ability to be able to uh, see deleted items and some other um, site owner type of information. We won't go through that. That's more advanced. Um, but this is something that a site owner could go to to manage their site. And then the last option is to share the site. And if this is the area that we would go to um, to invite other people to our site. And this will be covered in our next video.